If you didn't hear yesterday, we uh, were pinpointing one thing Thing we could call it, an area of low pressure. It's a non-tropical system. It could get a name, and that would be Anna. If not, it would be a depression before getting the name Anna as a possible tropical storm. The Hurricane Center watching it, giving it an 80% chance within the next two days. The good news is it will not impact the U.S., and likely after the next five days, it will die out. It's about 500 miles northeast of Bermuda. As of yesterday, also, we've got this little low that will quickly move onshore and bring a lot of rain to Texas and Louisiana. The good news is that it's moving quickly. It won't have a lot of time to develop. The problem, it'll bring flooding rain to an area that's already had flooding rain. Here are the temperatures back close to home. We need some rain, and we're not going to see it for the next several days, even into next week. We're at 64 in Ocala, 74 right now at New Smyrna Beach. Here's a look at the Pinpoint Accurate Forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating, Air Conditioning and Plumbing. And today, like yesterday, getting windy with the winds off the ocean waters. A high today of 85. One more day below the average. The average is 89. Notice the clouds and rain forecast, the future radar, showing a few clouds moving in and out. The green indicating one or two showers. That coverage of rain at less than 10%. Highs today along the coast, the low 80s, 82 in Daytona Beach, 81 in Palm Coast inland, the mid and even upper 80s in spots, 87 in Kissimmee, 86 will be the high by three in Ocala. Let's get results with your seven day forecast. As we take you into it, you will see the heat will be on. You'll be singing that song. 90 will be the high on Sunday after getting up to 87 tomorrow, but it's next week that's going to be brutal getting up to 97 Wednesday, 98 on Thursday with no rain in sight.